Maria Mahani, and this week I'm doing a classic exercise which I love. It's the rock and roll. So in Australia, we call this move a rock and roll, where the legs kick forwards and the legs kick back. So I know it's called different names around the world. That's what we call it back on. So this week we're doing it suspended, of course, which you have to with that move, but with just one dumbbell, no belt. Ha ha. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this, right? So keeping the dumbbell in one hand, rock and roll. With just one arm. When you switch your arms, that's where it gets interesting because you'll always use a stronger arm first. For most people, it's their right side. A lot harder. So, a couple of things that you need to make sure. There's got to be momentum. You're not moving forwards and back quickly. You'll lose the ability to flip. So if you go slow, it gets really hard to flip. And also, you sort of start moving all over the place because of the way that the dumbbell is supporting you on one side. See how it just moved around. So, you need to do it with a bit of speed. Also, the dumbbell's gonna always be staying underneath the water. So when you're pushing the dumbbell forward, it's going to stay under the water. Otherwise, people's feet will drop down. Looks like this. And it's really hard on your lower back because your legs sort of like flick up behind you. So dumbbell underneath the water. Second thing is, or third thing I should say, dumbbell's going to stay close to the body. Here, there, here, there. Sometimes my clients, they make this error where they take the arm out, then I've got no power, so I'm going to do it with my stronger side. If I go here, it's really hard to pull it in to push it forward. So rock and roll, you want to keep the hands close to the side of the body. So the other thing to think about is how do you alternate sides, and you can. So you alternate sides when you are on your tummy. So push forwards, kick, push forwards, kick, push forwards, kick. Woo! Challenging exercise, gets your heart rate up. The dogs have to work for this one. But you've got to maintain the speed. It's the momentum that's the key point here. So, great variation on the regular rock and roll with two dumbbells. Fantastic for your clients that are a little bit fitter. That want something a bit more challenging. You can do one side or you can alternate sides. And that's this week's appetite. I often get asked how to demonstrate what we call the rock and roll. So this week we've got the rock and roll with one dumbbell and our legs go forwards and back in the water. One thing that I refuse to do as an apple instructor is demonstrate a two-legged action with one leg. In my mind, this is ridiculous. This, that, this. It actually looks like another exercise that we've just done recently where you actually are kicking one leg forward and back without moving this leg. So, I demonstrate either by using a chair, and that's the ideal position to do it in, or getting down on the ground. So let me show you the chair option. So starting by sitting on the chair, Keep the legs forward, and then I scoot forwards onto the ground. So then I pull back, kick forwards, scoot forwards onto the ground. And in this position, it's comfortable for, comfortable for me to demonstrate, and also they get the full picture of what it's supposed to look like, especially when we do the transition. So kick back, kick forwards, switch hands. Kick back, kick forward, switch hands. So it's easy to demonstrate the hand switch. So one other thing that you want to think about is what you're doing with your arm when you're demonstrating this move. So what happens with most of, our, most of ourselves, we don't even realise we're doing it as apple instructors, 
we say, take, you know, the arms go out to the side of the demonstration. Remember what I looked like when I was in the pool? That dumbbell needs to be close to my body, so does my arms. So make sure you indicate that that arm is close to your body. And when you take your arms back, it actually goes this far back. So try and avoid, you know, lying your back and throwing your arms out, because that's not what you're doing in the pool at all. Remember, when they take that dumbbell away from your body, it feels really uncomfortable on the shoulder. So a chair is a great way to demonstrate this exercise.